Welcome to the WACS Daily News. Mayor Paul Haro was sworn into office to begin his second term last Tuesday. WACS spoke with him about what he hopes to accomplish in his new term. I was just sworn in for uh, my second term on Tuesday, January 7th, and we have a lot of good things going on in Attleboro. We um, have uh, the development of Highland Park, which is something I want to continue to work on. We also have the development of the new high school, and people should start to see the steel be erected on that very soon. Um, we have of a lot of green community initiatives, things to make the environment a cleaner, greener place. So some of the things that I'm looking at doing are uh, hopefully banning the use of pesticides that kill bees. That's very important for um, everyone's collective health. Also, the uh, moving of our police fleet over from internal combustible engines to hybrid vehicles. That would do a couple of things. It would uh, you know, certainly be less emissions in the air, but it would also uh, make it so that we're using less uh, fuel and it would cost uh, less over the course of the uh, life of the vehicle. Uh, we do have a small upfront investment, you know, that costs more to buy a hybrid than it does a regular internal combustible engine. However, we save it on the back end. And additionally, becoming a green community, we're going to be required that uh, to have all of our administrative vehicles be probably a hybrid or an electric vehicle. And so what we have historically have done is used the um, police fleet as a hand-me-down to other, you know, administrative vehicles and other departments. So we wouldn't be able to do that if those police vehicles were not uh, hybrids or electric. And we're not going to go with the electrics, we're just going to go with the hybrids. But we would not be able to do that otherwise. So that will allow us to continue that practice of handing down vehicles from the police department to other departments uh, so that they have you know an administrative vehicle to use. So also I'd like to see that the uh, city council pass one of my uh, initiatives or something I'm going to submit to them very soon to ban the use of styrofoam or plastic takeaway containers or uh, cups. So you'll see like styrofoam cups at uh, different coffee shops or plastic cups at different coffee shops and uh, same thing with the food takeaway containers. We have uh, available to us and a lot of communities are doing it already, uh, you know, compostable uh, materials and that's something that's a lot better for the environment if to uh, basically use that because the uh, plastics and styrofoams use a lot of uh, petroleum to produce those so those are a couple of things also I'd like to see the city ban the sale of the spiral light bulbs that can those contain mercury those are bad for the environment certainly bad for kids if they come in contact with them there's uh, you know basically a lot of things I'm going to be submitting to the city council uh, those are just a handful of them uh, what I'd like to put is solar canopies uh, above a lot of the city-owned parking lots and lease that space above those city-owned parking spots to these uh, different companies that are looking to put solar panels in different places that would do a couple things for us it would bring in extra money to the city and we can you know at, at no cost we're just leasing air above parking lots that's fine and that that's you know we don't have to do anything for that um, it would also help uh, you know certainly with the uh, you know energy demand that's going on in, you know Attleboro Massachusetts and the country and world so uh, that's something that would uh, also help keep cars cooler in the summertime when the sun's coming down on them so there's a lot of advantages to that that's it for today's update you can watch all of our content by visiting our website doubleacs.com by downloading the doubleacs mobile app or if you have a Roku you can search for the doubleacs Roku channel for doubleacs news I'm Austin Ricketts